Today we grill what no man has grilled before. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we're gonna be grilling some weird stuff and this episode is sponsored by Car Gurus. Car Guru's mission is to create a better car shopping experience using technology and data analytics. Car shopping can be intimidating. It's easy to worry about not getting the best deal or feeling like you're being taken advantage of, but Car Guru's is the only site with a deal rating system that flat out tells you if a car is overpriced so you don't overpay. They also factor more than just price into deal ratings like number of owners, mileage, and vehicle history. Because y'all, some places don't do that and you have no idea where your car has been or what it's been up to. I wanna know everything about my car. I wanna know what its kindergarten teacher's first name was. I wanna know what my car's first kiss was like. I wanna know what my car had for breakfast this morning. Cause if my car is brunching without me, that is a problem. All right. With up to 50% more dealers than other leading sites, you know you're seeing more inventory in one place. And you can search car listings for free. Go to cargurus.com to find a great deal on your next car. Thanks again to Car Gurus for sponsoring this episode. Speaking of cars, cars have grills, yeah. and we both like grilling. Both meats and each other. It's time for We Can't Help That Our New Favorite Hobby Is Guessing Weird Things That We've Thrown On The Bobby. Welcome to the Grill Daddy-O Patio. All right, we're gonna take turns grilling a random mystery item, and don't worry, the grill is not on. That's a fire code violation. Ah! Also, Link is afraid of propane, so we wouldn't do it anyway. Uh, the other person has to guess what item it is using yes or no questions. Yeah, and if you get stumped over the course of your yes or no questions, you can ask me to perform one of four lifelines and vice versa when I'm playing. The first one is flip it, where you ask the grill master to flip whatever it is that is being grilled. The second one is punt it, ask the grill master to give it a nice kick that okay. you will listen to with your eyes closed. You could choose lick it, which is ask the grill master to lick the item and then to describe the taste. And finally, grunt it, where the grill master grunts a compliment at the item as a hint. Flip it, punt it. Lick it, grunt it. And the winner gets to hit the loser with some sick burns and good mythical more. Let's get to grilling. Okay, Rhett, what am I grilling? I don't smell anything. I'm fake grilling, brother. Oh, Come right. on now, yes or uh, no questions. Is it edible? No. Is it a toy? No. Is it a tool? Not in the classic sense. Is it clothing? I would say yes. Do you put it on your head? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. <laughs> yes, you do. Hey! Rich is getting warm. Rich, Rich is getting get warm. warm. I'm getting even warmer on this fake grill over here. Is it something you would put on your head as a joke? <laughs> uh, I think you would, yes. <laughs> uh, but some people wouldn't. Is it part of a costume? No. Are you telling me that this thing is something that is traditionally not put on your head? Um, no. Is it a particular kind of hat? Yes. I have to figure out what kind of hat it is. Well, if you're stumped, you can ask for a, a lifeline. Flip it. Okay. Now, I, I'm gonna need you to close your eyes in case my flip sends it off of the- Okay, all right. Okay. Hold on, don't open your eyes, because I'm gonna have to flip it again. Okay. Can I open my eyes? Yeah, open your eyes. Well, it seemed like you didn't have a whole lot of trouble flipping, like it wasn't super heavy. No, it wasn't. Is it made of plastic? Yeah. <laughs> and other things. Is it a mask of sorts? No. Does it go on top of your head? Yes, that's very important. When you put this on top of your head, do you like, oh, I know what that guy's doing. <laughs> Is it that kind of thing that gives you that kind of information? No, no. It goes on top of your head to help you accomplish something. Or not, a, or to prevent something. To protect you from something? In the loosest sense of the term protect, yes. To keep you from having to do something? No. I would say keep you from having to experience something. Is it to keep you from experiencing weather? 
Yes. <laughs> That's it, not funny. Is it to keep you from experiencing rain? Yes. Is it one of those hats that's an umbrella for your head? Well, it looks like she's done. Hey! We get to cut it open and enjoy it together. Look at that. Whoa! Try it on, Rhett. Oh, I didn't mean to put that on the ground. Look at that. Look at you. Preventing yourself from experiencing rain and sun. Why don't more people do this? I'd like go to a game if people still went to games. <laughs> I think I can answer your question better if I had a mirror. Oh, it doesn't look great. Oh, hey! Thanks having for... so much fun here. Yeah, thanks for having Whoop. me over at your patio. Got a question for you. I'm real hungry. What am I grilling? Man, if I only knew. Boy, I'm hungry. Yeah. Does it have eyes? He's looking close. I thought I would go for the gusto right with my first question. And you don't even know the answer? Technically, no. Technically, no. Is it man-made? No. Is it alive? No. Was it ever alive? Yes. So it's dead. <laughs> I mean, if, it, if it's not alive and it never was alive. Let's, let's just go with this. It was once alive and now it's dead. Is it plant-based? <laughs> no. Animal-based? It is animal-based, yes. It, so it's like an excretion from an animal. <laughs> there we go. Is it liquid? Not wholly. And the rest, I guess, is solid. <laughs> yeah, it's part liquid, part solid. Did it come out of an animal? Definitely, yes. Is it like a fart from a pigeon, or is it like a breast from a pigeon? It's more like a fart from a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, I know that people got this from the thing that it comes from, and I don't know if they like waited around for it to come out or if they just went in and got it. They went in and got it. They went in and got it. Would you like a hint? Uh, yeah, can you, can you grunt about it? <laughs> mm, uh, you're so fancy and you have so much potential. Mm. Ah. Is it eaten by humans? Yes. Is it associated with a certain uh, cuisine, like uh, Italian, as an example? Yes and no, not Italian. <laughs> Does it come from a, a mammal? No. Does it come from a reptile? No. Does it come from a bird? No. Does it come from a... Well, that's all. Fish. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You figured out the other kind of animal. <laughs> <laughs> There's also insects. You didn't get there, but yes. Okay. It is um, from a fish. Is it the reproductive part of a fish? Reproductive items in a fish. It is a reproductive item, yes. Is it the female reproductive items of a fish? Yes. Is it fish eggs? More specific. Think numbers. Is it one fish egg? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Link, there you go. Oh, it is one. It is one fish egg. One Enjoy it. fish egg. Oh, I'm enjoying it. Boy, this is great. Get a little taste. And in this environment? Get a little taste. Why do you want me to taste it? Because it's fancy. It has so much potential. Hey, I spent all this time grilling that. You, you gonna not taste it? Fancy. Uh! Ah! What am I grilling? Grilling it up, y'all. What I like to know is it edible? No. Is it human made? Yes. Is it clothing? No. Is it a household item? No. Is it for leisure? No. Does it help you do something? Yeah, but I wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> Is it metal? Yes. Is it an instrument of some kind? Yes, it is. <laughs> A musical instrument? It is. <laughs> now, no, no. I mean, you don't have to use a lifeline, but you have one to use. I want you to punt it, because I, I, I like the idea of you kicking this thing. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he 
hit the you hit the part of my ankle that wasn't covered by a shoe. Okay, open your eyes. It's back on the grill. It wasn't done yet. Is it a percussion instrument? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is it, uh, was it made famous during uh, a certain television sketch featuring Will Ferrell? <laughs> you have a guess? Is it a cowbell? Hey, that was that was quick, man. <laughs> that was good. Wasn't how it? did you? How did you? I have no idea. How did you get to? Sometimes you're just feeling it. Woo! Welcome back to my yard. You grilling something else? Yeah. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. Is it man-made? Yeah. Um, is it decoration? Yeah. Oh. Is it? Does it serve no purpose besides decoration? Definitely. Is it silly? Uh, <laughs> again, this is all just, it's in the eye of the beholder. Do I have one at my house? You do not have one. <laughs> Would you expect it to be in someone's house on a shelf? Definitely shelf material. Does it represent something living? Yes. Okay. Does it represent a human? No. An animal? Yes. Is this decorative representation yes. of an animal yep. The to scale? Uh, no. Is the real life animal bigger than a beaver? <laughs> well, it depends on how big the beaver is. Like an average size beaver. When was the like, last time you saw a beaver? This is the body of the beaver. Without the tail? Without the tail. That's a small beaver. Okay, is it bigger, is, is the actual animal bigger than this? Beavers beaver? are a lot bigger than you think they are. You say a beaver's body is this big? Easily can be that big. You're thinking about a capybara. <laughs> no, I'm not thinking about. I'm thinking about a beaver. I mean, beavers. Beavers attack people. People. Pe there's people. People. Is the actual by animal bigger than a giant tortoise? Uh, I, no, it's smaller than a giant tortoise. Okay, but bigger than an average beaver. I know this. I'd say smaller than a beaver, but ba the same size as your the beavers from your world. <laughs> <laughs> Beavers are between 2.4 and 3 feet long, and they yeah, can right. weigh between 24 and 71 pounds. 71 pound beavers is what I've been seeing. <laughs> but three feet is Seven, the maximum. 70 pound beaver? That weighs more than your youngest son. Is it a mammal? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's hairy and it gives birth to live animals. No. Oh, so it's, it's one of those weird mammals? It's a uh, marsupial. Can I personally request the lifeline on your behalf? Because I'd really like to see it. Oh, of course. I would like for you to lick it and describe it. <laughs> you said you wanted to see it. I wanted to make it count. Describe it. Uh, not very exciting. Uh, didn't do anything for me. It didn't seem like there was any pain. Relatively tasteless. Does the real animal, it has fur? No. It's, it has skin? Yes. In, in the taxonomy of, of animals, there's skin animals and fur animals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is definitely a skin animal. Is it on a farm? Uh, it is not considered a farm animal, but if you were writing a song about a farm, you might mention it because it's is probably it a, there. Is but... it a pet? Yeah. It's a pet animal. Is it a type of cat? Yes. What? Is it a hairless cat? A skin cat? Sculpture. Sculpture. Is it a skin cat sculpture? And I just licked it. A porcelain hairless cat. <laughs> I held one of these one time and uh, now I have nightmares about it. We both got all of them. Yeah, we did. So we We're get both winners. Sick burns for each other and give mythical more. That was a lot more difficult than it seems like it should have been. <laughs> all right, thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm James. I'm Gina. And I'm Tawny. Now we're at Central Barbecue in Memphis, Tennessee. And it's, it's time, time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Oh, Ooh, I'm jealous. That's a good barbecue. All right, click the top link to watch us match meat rubs to their dirty names and get mythical more. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Cloak yourself in mythicality with our newest society exclusive item, a secret society cloak. Sign up for the third degree quarterly or annual plan by September 30th at mythicalsociety.com to be eligible. Thanks to Car Gurus for sponsoring this episode.